Welcome back for part two of a six part series on combinatorics. Today we're going to be going over functions. So a function oh sorry. Function is a sort of a mapping, an operation. There are many ways to describe it. But a function takes one set we'll call this set A and maps it onto another set let's say set B so let's say set A contains 1 2 3 and 4 and B contains A B C and D so basically a way you would define f like symbolically would be f and then colon a arrow b okay now a function maps every input in a to its own unique object in b so 1 can only be mapped to a single value in B. Let's say we map it to A. And 2 can also only be mapped to a single value in B. But that doesn't mean it can't also be mapped to A. So let's say 1 and 2 are mapped to A. Now 3 will map to C and 4 will map to D. So in function notation we'll say that f and then parentheses will say f of 1 is equal to a and f of 2 is also equal to a and so on. This is how we would write it. Now formally a is called the domain of the function. Okay. Never mind. Hmm. Sorry. Yeah, so A is called the domain and B is called the codomain. That's wrong. Sorry. The codomain. Now, B, or this is not to be confused for the range or the image. What we'll say the image, the image of F. This is what you may have heard as the range of F. Is the set of all values which F maps onto. Now, this we cannot necessarily say is B or capital B and that is because our lowercase b has no value of F or no value in A for which F of A equals F of B or equals B sorry so the image of F will often be times as written as f of the set A is the set of objects that A gets mapped onto. So in our case this is A, C, and D. Oops, okay. So that is basically what a function is. Now there are three interesting types of functions when we're talking about combinatorics. These are um, injective also known as one-to-one. -one. There is surjective which is also known as 
onto and there is bijective. And a bijective function is just a function that is both injective and surjective. So first we'll look at what an injective function is. An injective function is a function where each member of A is mapped to um, a unique value in uh, the codomain, or B. So basically this function that we've defined here is not injective because we have two values in A which both map to a singular value in B. In other words, we can say that if f of x1 is equal to f of x2, then the um, then x1 has to be equal to x2. That is, each value in the range of f has a unique value in the domain corresponding to it. A surjective function is a function in which every value of the codomain has a um, gets mapped, well, mapped onto, which is why it's called an onto function, which basically means that for all, this is just a fancy, for all um, elements y in the codomain, then there exists an x in the, in the domain such that f of x is equal to y. So here our function is not surjective because b does not have an element in a which that element is mapped to b. And like I said before, um, a bijective function is simply a common is is just injective and surjective at the same time, which means that um, which would imply that a the the size of a or the cardinality of a has to be equal to the cardinality of b because that means that every element in b has a value of x corresponding to it and it is the only value of x corresponding to it. So there's no overlap and it's just a simple really I think it should be called one-to-one -one, just a bijective correspondence. So if we had you know the same sets one, two, three, and four and a, b, C and D, then if we just map everything like so, so one goes to A, two goes to B, so on. This is a bijection because A, any element that you choose in B will have a singular value in A corresponding to it. That is, there are no two values in A which map to the same value in B. Also, every value in B gets mapped to. So this is a bijective function. In the next video, we'll use our definitions of combination, permutation, spelling, and bijections in order to solve a tough counting problem. Thank you, and I hope to see you in the next video.